You know, what comes to me is, is they get their soul back. And I, I, I don't mean that to sound too dramatic because of course they had their soul when they walked in the door. But for, for me, what I mean by the soul is like when we feel alive and when we, because of course we go up and down in our lives, but um, when we feel here and present and alive and that we can connect with others and that we, 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 we know what we're, we know what we're doing, and I don't mean mentally, I just mean in that moment there is a certain level of well-being and that's what I usually see as the difference. You know, we finished an event last night and the difference from when the participants walk in the door to the end is, is huge. And it's not necessarily because of anything I'm, it's not all because of what I do or say. I always create a container where they see each other. So for me the power of community is something that we all need and that we're usually missing. So the way I run events is to bring a team of people with me so that there is a whole range of experiences that people can have. We try and model as much of the balance components that we need for life um, in the room. And, and then really the most important thing for me is did they all see and fall in love with each other? I always know an event's been successful if I'm the least important person in the room by the end of it. You know, people may have walked in because I was a focal point or a draw, but if at the end they're so in love with each other that they've forgotten about me, I did my job because it, it's really about creating an environment and a container and leading people through a transformation process together that brings their fullness back. They share their fullness with each other and they suddenly are like, oh my God, I, I'm safe to do this. And then the trick is, and I talk about this always at the end of the events, now we take this energy that you felt here and you go back to your life and you find the ways to ground it, maintain it as best you can and you start to share it more because we all want it. We all want to, you know, it's like that I said to you earlier, I love that person who's just beaming at me in the grocery store. It's like, oh God, thank you. You know, it's, that's a real, they transmit an energy to you and you feel it. We all want that level of connection, but sometimes we can, I certainly had a few times in my life where I felt like this and I see certain people who get really stuck in this, complaining about what the world isn't, complaining about what the world isn't giving them, complaining about um, how difficult their life is and nobody sees them, nobody, but if you really ask them a series of questions about what they're doing to tackle that, there's inertia. So yeah, part of the events really is about teaching you some of the principles that you'll need to have in your life to stay spiritually alive, to keep your soul alive in this very crazy, interesting world that we live in. Um, because for all of us, we have to cultivate it. We have to find what lights us up and then we have to know how to keep that flame alive. So that's really what the events are designed to do.